hello my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs this is going to be for scorpio sun moon rising and venus let's get into your reading scorpio let's see what spirit has for you guys for the month of march 2020 all right scorpio all right your first card here is the page of cups the knight of wands the hanged man the Knight of Swords, the Emperor card, the Empress card, wow. The Seven of Wands, the Five of Swords, the Seven of Cups, and the, whoa, and the Eight of Swords. What's going on, Scorpio? Okay. <sighs> Heavy energies, all right. So your current situation, for some of you guys, I feel that you may be dealing with love issues. Um, with the Page of Wands, sorry, not the Page of Wands, the Page of Cups, I feel that what's taking center stage in the present time could have to do or connected, very much connected with emotions. Now, the obstacle here is the Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands could signify to me, perhaps in the past, you've been very impulsive, Scorpio. You've made irrational decisions based off of either the heat of the moment, based off of either anger or frustration. Now, the past in passing, we have the hanged man. So there is a, a, a situation or a feeling of being stuck, not being able to move or not being able to progress. For some of you guys, this this could be connected to relationships. There is some type of frustration because there's lack of some type of stability. Now, you do have the Emperor card here next to the Empress card. So this is crowning top and bottom, which is signifying to me for some of you guys, it could just represent that there is a frustration in regards to understanding or to coming to understand your partner's way of love or your way of loving um now this could symbolize for some of you guys it could be connected to soul type of connection uh so for some of you guys it could be that you are in fact in partnerships that are soul connected from previous lifetimes and there is still uh some type of battle or some type of lesson that still needs to be learned now for some of you guys again we go back to that of perhaps learning uh, to either control your temper or to control being erratic when you are consumed with either confusion or when you're consumed with anger. Now, the Knight of Swords signifies to me a lot of quarrels, a lot of fights, a lot of arguments or misunderstandings based off of anger. It's like, if you hurt me, I'm going to hurt you 10 times stronger. And what that creates or what, what that does in relationships is that it starts to create walls between you and the partner where you no longer can compromise or you no longer can communicate because you guys are in the being hurt and I'm going to prove him wrong or I'm going to prove her wrong or I'm going to prove, you know, that type of energy. Now, the advice card here of the seven of wands. This is indicating to me that a lot of you guys, if you guys are currently experiencing like a lot of instability in your partnerships or arguments or misunderstandings, sometimes you have to put your foot down, Scorpio, and put your foot down, not in the sense of I am, I rem I'm going to remember what you did and I'm going to put it in my notepad where I have like 2011 <laughs> things you've done, uh, to me in the past. What they're telling you is you need to let go of feeling like you have to go out on the like on the vengeance type of thing or getting back at your partner. Ultimately, what you're doing is you're creating anger and animosity or even resentment of them towards you. Do you really want to be in a relationship where there's a lot of resentment or where they feel like they've sacrificed or they've changed who they are to either compliment you or to meet you halfway or whatever it is whatever it means to you uh, that they've kind of molded themselves into the idea of what you would want them to be 
that it gets to the point where there's, you know, like I said, constant fights, arguments, and misunderstandings, that they start to kind of hate you. And the reason for that is because they're so resentful of everything that they feel they've sacrificed. So with the seven of wands, there is a need for you to put your foot down in the sense of bringing your swords down, Scorpio. So what they're saying is when there is misunderstandings or arguments in relationships, sometimes we have to agree to disagree. It doesn't mean that, oh, you're disagreeing with me. I'm going to remember this tomorrow and get back at you. Because if you approach relationships that way, you're always going to end up feeling like they're either running from you or they're giving up because they're tired. And then you feel like you were left. There is abandonment issues here. And for some of you guys, it could be that this is something that often happens in relationships. When you get into relationships, something doesn't work out. And it's almost like a feeling like you are left empty handed or you are being left and and you feel like they left you, but in reality, they just no longer want to deal with toxic type of energy. So it's time for us to really take ownership of past relationships and understand that, you know, if it got to, as an example of this, if what they're speaking here is about a person from the past, if it got to the point of being extremely nasty and not being able to get along and just being really nasty towards each other, you have to take self-responsibility and understand that it wasn't just them. It takes two people to make a relationship work just like it takes two people to become extremely nasty towards each other. And sometimes we got to put our swords down, not because you're giving in to them, but sometimes fighting is just not worth it, especially when it comes to if you're dealing with exes. Uh, or if you're dealing with a situation where this relationship is just going nowhere and you keep holding on, but you still continue to be nasty towards each other. Now, with the five of swords, a lot of animosity, and I see this card as like the card of when resentment or when animosity takes over the relationship that you kind of feel like you, you're starting to hate each other. And it's because of the delusion of thinking that people have to put up with our nonsense. You yourself do not have to put up with other people's nonsense, Scorpio. But it doesn't mean that, you know, because I've been hurt, I have the right to be nasty to people. Or because I've been hurt, I have the right to want to make them pay and that's why I'm not signing the divorce papers or that's why um, I'm making it really difficult for my ex. You need to understand that if you're carrying that energy, they're winning. They're winning because they're still very prominent in your life, even though there's been some type of separation. And this could be if you guys are currently in a relationship, this doesn't necessarily have to mean the person that you're currently with, because I do see past energies. So again, for some of you guys, it's just that you still have not moved on from an ex-partner. And it's like that's affecting the people that are coming towards you or affecting uh, the people that could potentially be long term for you. And it's the feeling of being stuck, the feeling of not being able to move forward or not being able to experience new beginnings. And the reason for that is because you're carrying around um, past hurts. So the best way of describing it is kind of like, you know, dealing with dealing with toxic energy and sometimes toxic energy is not that of like a person bringing out the worst in you. Toxic energy could be like meeting someone, but you're not 100 percent committed to them or you're, you don't really feel it that strong. But then the moment that they're not willing to put any more effort, that's the moment that you become obsessive over them. And it's the feeling of being abandoned. So that's a deeper issue that you need to work on um, instead of like just focusing on this person left me or this person is leaving me. Therefore, I'm going to do everything I possibly can to make their life more difficult. Um, we got to take self-responsibility. Now, keep in mind, Scorpio, this could be vice versa. This could be something that they're doing to you. 
uh, because it is a general reading. But the ultimate message here is if when it comes to partnerships, if you are wanting to find something that is going to be long term and that is going to take you uh, to that place of contentment or to that point of being emotionally fulfilled, you must look for someone that is willing to put the same effort that you're willing to put, but at the same time, someone that is going to compliment you in the best of ways. We have the Emperor and the Empress card here, which these two cards are the partner of one another, the half of one another, the balance, the yin and the yang. And if you often find yourself or being attracted to people that have the same type of, you know, hurt, or healing that you need to go through, it doesn't mean that they're meant for you. It just means that both of you guys have came together to learn and to heal, but it doesn't mean that they're going to be there forever. Sometimes we confuse soulmate connections with something that is like forever, and, and it's not. Sometimes it's just lessons that we need to learn about ourselves that are that it's going to make us a better partner for the next person to come. I hope that makes sense. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I hope it gives you some type of insight and we'll see each other soon. Bye.